Welcome, my friends, to the first lesson in Module 1 in our statistical journey. My name is Rusty Waller. I'm known locally as the infamous Dr. Dog. I teach for the wonderful University of Texas A&M Commerce and uh, really have a neat job. I love this class, and I hope you come out liking this class as well. In order to master statistics, one of the things that you're going to have to do is learn the language. If you live in the land of nerd, you have to speak nerd. And I'm fixing to start you on your journey. We'll start off in the beginning. First thing we're going to do is go out and study the difference between quantitative and qualitative data. Now, data refers to a point of information. Qualitative is a type of data. Quantitative is a type of data. Now, as we do these things, we always go out to the Internet and look for information because we live in the information age where these ideas are readily available. Now, in this wonderful website, we have a contrast between qualitative and quantitative. Now, before we really get into this, look at the word quantitative. It reminds you of the word quantify. Quantify means to measure. Quantitative is, uh, is to quantify, which means that you deal with numbers, things that can be measured. You assign a number to something. And that's a, really a phenomenon in our society. We believe that a number can be placed on everything. For instance, we make IQ or intelligence, IQ a number. We make your admission into graduate school, a GRE score, and so forth. Qualitative refers to the number quality. Quality is very difficult to describe, and quality can be something that is not necessarily measured with a number. Examples here that are given to us are oil paintings. We might measure the, the width and the height. We might see how much it weighs. We might look at how much it costs. But in, under qualitative uh, analysis of this, we might look at the color, the paint, how does it smell, is the scene peaceful or not, and so forth. Oh my gracious, I hate to even talk about uh, caffeine products. That just tears me up. I love a 20 ounce uh, cup of coffee rather than 12, but a cup of coffee can have a robust aroma. If we look at these things, we might look at a freshman class. Uh, we might measure how many females and how many males, how many are on the honor roll. That certainly wasn't me. My wife was a magna cum laude graduate. I was a thank laude graduate, and the chancellor said good laude when I walked the stage. We have also some other things. Are they friendly? Are they civic-minded, environmentalist? I want you to look at the difference between quantitative and qualitative. Qualitative deals with quality in terms of things that cannot be measured with number, and quantitative deals with things that can be quantified or measured with numbers. Now, Friends, there are a couple of things in closing that I just want to sum up with this about the difference between quantitative and qualitative. Quantitative, again, quantity can be numbered. Qualitative, quality, very difficult to describe. Quantitative statistics are generally utilized to measure things that we know. And qualitative are generally utilized to discover new trends or new ideas. So kind of keep that in mind. You're embarking in statistics. You're in your quantitative statistics class. So we will be dealing with the infamous subject of number. Now, stop and think a minute. You were afraid. You were very afraid. But the only thing you have to fear is fear itself. You now know the difference between quantitative statistics, which deal with numbers, and qualitative statistics, which deal with issues that cannot be quantified with numbers. You really are awesome. I'm proud of you. Well, friends, this alligator has just discovered the joy, the sheer joy of quantitative statistics. He now knows the difference between qualitative and quantitative. As I close this course, I want you to keep in mind that it is my philosophy as an instructor that if you come through this class and you make an A and you end up hating statistics, I have failed. I want you to enjoy it. Sit back. Have a good time. Let this sink in. You will never be normal again.